Welcome to 3D Printing News. We have some crazy stories for you guys this week. We have Bamboo Lab officially confirming when the H2C will come out. We have Elgu's updates to their multicolor system or giving an update to their multicolor system, I guess, in FlashForge limiting what you can 3D print. I'm your host, Mike, and I host the 3D Printing News every single Friday at 6 a.m. Arizona time. So if that's something you're interested in or if at any point you're enjoying the video, Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button and comment down below what you guys enjoyed about this episode. So one last thing before we go ahead and get into our first news topic, guys, leave your questions for me down below, whether they're personal, of course I can't answer anything, or maybe it's a question when it comes to 3D printing, leave your questions down below and at the end of every single episode, every single week, I wanna start answering some of your guys' questions. So it's a new little bit we'll do at the end or a new little segment we'll do at the end of every single video. Um, yeah, so just going forward, we'll do that and we'll see how long it goes. If you guys are enjoying it, we'll keep doing it going forward. So for this week's first news topic, we have the Bamboo Lab H2C officially coming on November 18th. Previously, I thought we weren't actually going to see this at Formnext, but it turns out Bamboo Lab is full of surprises. So we're going to actually see Bamboo Lab launch the H2C on their website at 3 p.m. CET time. This is one that I'm excited for. Really, we just don't know how much it's gonna cost. We don't know how it officially works. I'm just excited to see those videos. We'll probably see the whole shebang of content creators release their videos. I'm hoping that they launch the kit for the H2D and the H2S at the same time. And maybe we'll even get a video of someone upgrading their H2D. I know they said it would be a lot harder for the H2S and probably more expensive, but really what I'm hoping for is that they sent at least one of those kits to a content creator and maybe we see them putting it together. That's my hope, what I'm hoping for this, but I'm really just excited to see the H2C in action. And what is it gonna cost? My guess is 2,500, but I guess we shall see. Speaking of multicolor, Elgu has uh, taken some flack right on the chin this week. Elgu came out with a blog post basically giving us an update on the Centauri Carbon multicolor system. Now I'm gonna read it for you guys real quick. We'll breeze through this and then I'll give you guys my thoughts. So thank you for your continued support for the Centauri Carbon. Since its launch, we have received some positive feedback on its user friendliness, printing speed, and quality. Additionally, the multicolor add-on has been highly anticipated. Based on recent feedback, we hereby share with you the following updates. Since last year, our engineering team has been working on multicolor printing for the Centauri Carbon. Due to some limitations on the hardware, so far developing the multicolor system has not yet delivered performance that meets our expectation. And we cannot guarantee a release date for the multicolor system so far. Stopping right there to discuss what we read, we already kind of knew that the hardware was limited, right? We've talked about the filament sensor. The filament sensor is, runout sensor is not in the tool head. There's a few things, other things, right? Those were, that was just the, the main thing that I think that the, also the board was weak on the printer. A lot of people already saw this coming and we already knew that there was a hardware limitation. So yeah, we could have told you that months ago or you could have told us this months ago. That was my kind of my thoughts. The other thing is that the way they specifically word it. Now in Europe, there's a lot of consumer protection laws. So I think they worded it this way. I don't know um, because they issued another statement later that we'll talk about. But I don't know if that's how they're, they're wording it, just to be careful, because it says, we cannot guarantee a release date for the multicolor system so far. So like, are they working on it? Kind of, that was the question. Everyone's kind of assuming it's canceled because they used the same exact wording for the Centauri, which that looks like it's canceled. They took it off their website, but they never actually flat out said it's canceled. Anyway, let, let's, let's go into the rest of this. We understand this news may disappoint our Centauri Carbon users to express our sincere appreciation for your trust and understanding. We are providing the following exclusive benefits for users who have already purchased the Centauri Carbon. Option A, a $50 coupon valid for three months for a filament order on the official store over $100. Option B, a 365 day warranty extension for your Centauri Carbon, excluding consumable parts. Option C, an $80 coupon applicable to the purchase of the Centauri Carbon 2 combo. Uh, it's gonna be released in Q1 of 2026. And then they have a link to claim your benefit. The funny thing is this link wasn't live when it first launched and it was, yeah, it was just one of those funny things. I will say, I think all these options kind of suck because you're giving money to Elegoo or you're just letting them extend your warranty, which Elegoo has a history of not providing replacement parts after like a year. And then you're kind of screwed. Um, you know, on top of this, the $80 coupon for the Centauri Carbon 2 combo, you don't even know how much the Centauri 2 combo is going to be priced at. So how do I know if $80 off this is actually a good deal or not? Are they just gonna increase the Centauri Carbon 2 by $80 and 
they'll decrease it after like a month after everyone's used their coupons. That's what some of you guys said in my comments below because I did cover all this information in a previous video. So that's just to recap it. What do you guys think? Did they cancel this based on this information? And now they then issued another statement. But actually, one thing I forgot to cover with this, if you click the link, you can actually see you're not going to get any of these benefits until February 15th of 2026. So you don't even know if your $80 coupon is a good deal until February 15th. And you only have till July 31st of 2026 to fill this out. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> like that's kind of crazy to me. Same thing with the $50 coupon. You're not going to get this for at least like three or four months. I, I just don't understand it. And I wish the $50 coupon was good for consumable parts. Like let me use it for hot ends. Let me use it for these other things. Why is this just limited to filament? Because filament is their highest margin item that they're selling on their website. That's kind of what I think in my head. I'm just guessing, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, anyway. Let's go into their statement. So a lot of people, again, thought that this means that the multicolor system is canceled because, again, they used the same wording for the original Centauri. So, hi, Ilgu friends. Thanks so much for your feedback. Just to clarify, we did not stop the Centauri Carbon Multi-System Development. It's still in progress, and we're working to get it right. We know you've waited patiently. We really appreciate your support. As always, that's why we're launching this loyalty program. We hope to share an update with the multicolor system soon. Thanks for being with Ilgu. So they say they're still working on it. We shall see. I just want to give you guys a little bit of history here. Um, so one thing with their Jupiter resin printer, they said it was going to be modular where you could actually expand it and stuff. And they said this, it is listed in their Kickstarter and they never came out with any expansions and they just came out with the Jupiter SE, which is a cheaper version of the Jupiter. So they have kind of a history. If you look how many different Neptunes they've come out with, they just kind of released their next printer year after year after year after year and move on. So maybe we'll have the original Centauri by the Centauri Carbon 5, and that's when they'll do a refresh and call it the Centauri. And so then, hey, look, we never officially canceled it. Now the Centauri's out. Uh, yeah, I it, it's it's hard to say. But I think Elegoo should come out and show some sort of prototype to show like, hey, we're actually working on this thing. I think that would go a long way with the community. What do you guys think? Even if it didn't work, just show me that you actually have something physical developed and you just don't have these plain old Jane renders on your computer. Just prove that you were working on it. That's, I think that would go a long way with the community because right now I think a lot of people just think it's kind of hogwash. You're not actually working on anything. Now, if you're working on a project and you don't quite have the tools to get it done, what you should do is check out the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay.com. Now it's extremely easy to get started on PCBWay.com, whether you need something CNC, 3D printed, injection molding, sheet metal fabrication, they have you covered. So I'll do a simple 3D printing here. Also, don't forget, they also have PCB design available. So if you need a PCB board as well, they got you covered. What you'll do is you'll just drag and drop your file here. You'll get an instant quote here on the right hand side just with the default selections. You select the quantity, right? You want something in nylon, PLA, ABS, all of the tough materials peak. You're not printing peak at home. So if this is something you want done, PCBWay.com has you covered. After, of course, you select all of your options, you'll get the instant quote here on the right hand side. So again, if you need something for your next project, go ahead and check out PCBWay.com. New customers do get $5 off at sign up. One solution that may be available is Big Tree Tech has come out with the Vivid. This is an open source multi-material system. It is going to be kind of pricey at $299, which is the same price as the Centauri Carbon regularly. So it is a potential option. Now, if they release the full source code with the Centauri Carbon and you're able to maybe put a new board on it and then you can buy this Vivid, that does kind of get expensive where I don't think you would recommend it. But I just wanted to share that Big Tree Tech did announce an open sourced multicolor system. So it's it's an option. Maybe this will come. Maybe the Elegoo Centauri Carbon will be a modder's dream, a tinkerer's dream. Who knows? This was announced. It's a potential option maybe going forward, but again, that board is a little bit weak when it comes to Centauri Carbon, so I don't see it being a valid option, but if you are able to change the board, maybe that you can get a cheap board, who knows how much it costs, but then you're you're getting like potentially like $700 in. So is it worth it? But it'll be open sourced, like right? it's kind of like your mini Voron. It's like your own little kit that you built. Maybe 
you like it that way. I don't know. Like, guys, what do you guys think on that? Like, the potential? Maybe. Moving into 3D printing and restrictions, Flash Force has officially said no 3D printing weapons with their 3D printers. They will also re potentially report you to the authorities. Now, this has gotten a lot of traction on X. If you're not on X, you guys can follow me at the link down below in the description. I do retweet and kind of post a few comments. I'm using it a little bit more when it comes to this and the news. You can kind of catch the news before the video comes out. Um, but the interesting thing here is that, that they say Flash Forge prohibits using our products and services to create firearms. Warning, component violations may lead to account termination and referral to the authorities. So they are, are they watching what you're 3D printing? That's... That's something, yeah, I thought Bamboo Lab apparently only did that, you know? Turns out more than just them do it. But some people think they actually got reported or the DA in New York reached out to them and that's why they're doing this. You can see in this comment, I'll link the post to this down below where, hey, maybe the authorities actually already reached out to Flash Forge and that's why they're doing this. So they're being more proactive same thing with like, I kind of thought maybe that's why Bamboo Lab was doing these things, but they never actually have officially limited what you're 3D printing. But who knows, maybe that stuff is coming soon. I know like, the, I think the DA already had said in New York that they had reached out to Creality. So is this coming for all manufacturers or is a 3D printer ban coming in some states? Who knows? What do you guys think about this? This has been a hot topic. Talking about hot topics, Hue Forge actually got reached out to by Bamboo Lab. So earlier this year, Chroma Canvas from Bamboo Lab was like their version of Flat or Hue Forge that came out. And it was kind of basically like a knockoff of Hue Forge, right? It was very clear. It was filament painting. It very clearly was inspired by Hue Forge. But now Bamboo Lab's doing their best, it seems like, to make it right. I guess they don't have to do this, but they did reach out to the owner of Hue Forge. And they're going to say now on their Chroma page that it was inspired by Hue Forge. I think this is better than nothing. They didn't have to do this by developing their own product. And you know what? I think it's a good thing that they're trying to make well. Now, I still think he's probably a little bit upset about this, like how they came out with this Chroma Canvas, but I think he had already said too that he thought it was coming. So like, this is better than nothing. And maybe people will go to the original source instead of like not giving him any credit. And maybe he'll actually make more sales because of it. And now, you know, I've already bought a Hue Forge, you know, I've already supported him. So yeah, what do you guys think on this one? Did Bamboo Lab do right? Was it enough? Should they have just canceled the project altogether? I, I don't, I, it's, it's hard to say, right? Because it's a, in theory, it seems like a basic design, but it, it is very cool. And now if you don't know what Hue Forge is, you can just search Hue Forge on Maker World and there's going to be a ton of stuff there. But again, I think this was kind of good on Bamboo Lab for doing that. Now, they probably, like the guy says in the email that he shares in the post, if you want to click the link down below, um, that they probably should have did this earlier, and I agree. I think it would have been a lot better if Bamboo Lab just originally reached out and did it, but I think they are doing, you know, the best what they can now with, you know, after the fact, after things have happened, trying to make it right. We also have this by Fattest 3D. This is a new extruder for the K2 Plus. Looks like an interesting design. I don't really know much about them, but it looks like the K2 Plus is getting an upgrade. So if this is something you're interested in, this will also be a Form Next, just like the Vivid Machine, just like the H2C. Lots of Form Next announcements coming, guys. So Form Labs, speaking of announcements, Form Labs has actually announced their new Form Cure LV2. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. This comes in at $4,500. So if you're using Formlab stuff, I know you got money. But this is looks like estimated delivery 16th through the 19th. They recently announced this. I don't even know where to start. I don't think I'll ever spend $4,500 on a 3D print thing. You're going to have to send it to me for me to try this. That's crazy. I ain't got it like that, man. You know, this is probably like four or five months of YouTube revenue and then some. Come on. But some stuff that I found cool on CookieCAD. They actually have this pumpkin spice PLA filament. Should I buy this guys and try it and report back and make a video? I think it would be kind of hard to make a video because it is scented like pumpkin spice. Or maybe this is just like, I don't know, bad for me to breathe in the microplastics. Maybe this is totally unhealthy. Don't do it. Should I buy this though and try it out? Speaking of interesting filaments, the next thing was actually from Kex Sled. I never really heard of them but they have a PLA coffee, a PLA tea, and a PLA bamboo. Should I also try these? 
I believe they're launching early next year, but I kind of want to reach out to them and try them. I especially would like the 3D print with the coffee one and see if I can smell like a fresh roastery or something in the morning. I love my specialty coffee. What do you, do you guys, are you guys coffee drinkers? Is there any local roasters that sell online that I should try? Leave me in the comments down below. I've been buying from black and white coffee roasters. I love them. But let me know if there's any other ones. I'm in Arizona, so I've tried a few of the Arizona ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm rambling off topic, 3D printing news, but yeah, let me know. But this does wrap it up for the 3D printing news, guys. Reminder, leave your questions down below in the comments. I do appreciate Flycut and Artie for being members. If you guys are interested in being a member, there's nothing really extra that you get. You do get a thank you shout out at the end of the video. Um, eventually, I'll have just like a scrolling thing where it thanks everybody. But right now, I'm doing it manually because I don't have that many members. But nothing extra, just a way to support the channel and appreciate what I do. Outside of that, guys, I do appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And again, we'll see you next week.